So one of the file formats that Arrow can also accept is a PNG sequence. Um, I'm working right now in After Effects. I have a little heart animation that I've made. Uh, and I'm going to export this as a PNG sequence and then uh, take those files, um, make sure they're numbered properly, zip them, and then use that zip file uh, to basically uh, be placed into the scene. And I'll, I'll read like an animation. I can scrub through this and you can kind of get an idea of what this animation uh, is going to look like. So uh, let's go through the steps of exporting this. Uh, we'll go up to, uh, this is one way to do it, we'll go to Add to Render Queue. And um, I'm going to make I'm going to go into the output module settings and just change it to a PNG sequence. Um, if you look at this file, there is a black background here, and that's coming from the composition. But if I want this to have a transparent background, I'm going to need to change the output and make sure I say RGB plus the alpha uh, so that it takes that background off of it. Um, that background is just coming from the composition. Uh, we'll, we'll change that there. And it is important that you that these things come out numbered. <clears throat> So these hash marks there are going to indicate the frame number. I want to make a folder to hold all of this. Uh, so I'm going to call this maybe hearts, hearts2. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess I'll do this, hearts2. Hearts and then, yeah, the, the frame number should, should appear there. Let's say save. Uh, and let's render all that stuff out. So each of these frames is coming out as a PNG. Uh, there will be no black background, so this thing will sit um, on top of uh, whatever I place it in in uh, Adobe Arrow. This this background is just coming from the uh, um, from After Effects, the After Effects composition, but it should uh, it won't appear when I export this. Okay. So so it just finished rendering. I have my folder in here, and it's really important that this is uh, labeled with these numbers because that's going to let Arrow know what order to show these. So uh, it starts at frame 000, you know, and it goes up sequentially. So I'm going to take this folder and I'm going to zip it uh, or compress it. And that's the file that I'm going to bring into uh, Adobe Arrow. Now, if I, again, if I wanted to access this uh, on the app or ha uh, on the, in the cloud, I would want to make sure it's in my Creative Cloud file so I could drag it into here. Uh, but I can also just open up Arrow. I'm going to create a new file and just bring in that heart animation. I'll call it heart2. Um, and we'll, we'll add that asset. So we'll press start, hearts2. Is it's all zipped up and that should be read by arrow it, it now it's going to take some time um, some things to be aware of uh, when you're working on this, this file is 44.3 megabytes so it's a little bit large um, ways to reduce the file size use fewer frames have less detail so if I didn't have textures in there if I didn't have shadows if it was all kind of flat that might be a smaller file size um, so there is always kind of a trade-off uh, between those different elements there. Okay, so after a long period of waiting, this file finally came in. Um, I might want to scale it up a little bit. Uh, if I go to preview it, I won't see anything uh, because I need to do one thing. With this selected, we're going to go into behaviors, the behavior builder, and what we want to do is play images. So we Remember, this represents an image sequence that we've zipped up. We want to add the play images here, and uh, we can we can set the speed of this frames per second. We can set the play count. Maybe it's maybe it's infinite. Maybe it's back and forth. And I think at that point, we should be able to yeah see the animation in the space. Uh, you know, we can start moving around, and it is f flat relatively, right? Um, and then it's it should play all the way through and then kind of go back and forth so it's going to animate back in the other direction and then come back around so this scene is built and we can go see what this would look like in the real world here 
Here I've opened the scene out in the real world. I saw this heart uh, on the sidewalk and that's kind of what inspired me to make this animation. So I'm loading that animation to the scene. Um, I can edit it around like, uh, I think I'm gonna select it here and just move it a little bit so it, it lines better with the heart. Um, I could reset the anchor, but just wanted to show that you can edit your scene uh, after you make it. So and this is what it looks like in the space and if i press that red record button i can record what i am seeing in arrow and this is the result